people. So now we start our panel, which for us is a, a important moment for the students and the participants of this school because in this moment we will present, we will invite some persons who has already made this school to present us their cases and uh, how this school helped them, helped them in their case. Uh, so I would like to thank you very much these two here, which is Paulo and Luciane. They both made the school as two years ago, and now they are very successful uh, entrepreneur. They have a lot of money to share with uh, you, your ideas, so they are here. And I would, I would like also to thank myself because I will also present something. Uh, first of all, I will invite Paulo. Paulo is a teacher in the University Federal of San Juan, at Divinopolis campus. Uh, he has an uh, entrepreneurial spirit, as you, you see that. And then uh, when he came two years ago, he has a lot of ideas. He was already an entrepreneur. And after that, he comes an uh, uh, entrepreneur with a lot of premiums in, in Brazil and outside Brazil. Thank you very much, Paul. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Thank you the organization for inviting me to share with you my experience with entrepreneurship within academy. Uh, I was, uh, um, I've been a manager of undergraduate courses for 10 years, and I coordinate the first uh, doctorate program in Midwest in Minas Gerais. I coordinate the team of the teachers to bring the first doctorate course. But the most exciting moment in my life uh, was in 2015, when I was accepted to do my uh, postdoctor or as my visiting scientist at MIT. And I worked with uh, Alex Klibanov, who has more than 30 patents, more than 400 papers. But they caught my attention was he has had founded seven companies and continued to be a MIT researcher. It was an incredible experience because if you have a GPS, radar, it's because MIT uh, research. So uh, it's in my lab, 13 benches for one resort only. It's by view of my office. And the impact of the university to, uh, to turn uh, its environment, and we can see in this image. In 18, we can see some spaces near the eastern part of the MIT in Cambridge. Here we have uh, the image of Boston. And 2015, it's possible to see many companies four, five hundred companies, 2,500 biotechnology companies, such as Novartis, Pfizer, Biogen, Genzyme, Genentech. It's very important the connection of the university to develop scientific and technological and social. So, why MIT has successful? 70% of the companies formed for former students have successful, is still working. Why? Why? Because they are the environment. They have mentors, they have uh, competitions, they have uh, good ideas, they have uh, fund. And in 2014 and 15, 60 Entrepreneurship courses uh, happening there, one acceleration program, until 2014, 30,000 uh, companies funded by MIT alumni were activity, employing 4.6 million people with the annual review, it's like a Brazilian GDP. 
So, when I arrived in Brazil, uh, I had the opportunity to participate in the uh, Tupanish School for Scientists and Engineers here two years ago. That changed my life when I arrived. Because I had the experience with you having mentors, to use the technologies and the contact with another entrepreneur to uh, improve the business model. For the first time, I had contact with uh, a business model plan. So, we can see in these slides the results. I enrolled for uh, too, many, too many accelerated programs with the Pulso Sensores, two accelerated programs in Minas Gerais by Startup Lab and the Feng Lab in the beginning of last year. In the same time, I uh, enrolled to a prob uh, with ProBiocal to Innovativa Brazil. It's a Brazilian accelerated program. With ProBioFu, I applied to another one and participated with uh, ProBioFu in Feng Lab Accelerate the master and doctor. In my discipline, uh, I create uh, another startup called SOBE with Emprendiação, it's a program inside the universities. I was invited to participate to a startup universitario, it's a Minas Gerais program uh, that selected 100 professors with entrepreneurship skills. I'm a facilit uh, facilitator of the Biomaker Battle from B Fundação Biominas with Aline. And the other startups in my city invite me to help them uh, to improve the business model as Neurotip, Lavinia HPV, and ConnectPos. So, firstly, I'd like to talk about the Pulso Sensores. It's a um, um, uh, wearable device that we create in connection with another university, uh, with the student doing uh, mechatronica course. The wearable device is discreet, comfortable, and safe heart rate monitoring. So, our solution were to use the earphones, to detect uh, uh, heart rate uh, signals, process the data, and send it via Bluetooth to applications in cell phone or in uh, computers. With that, we participate in two accelerate programs in the same time, during one month by Startup Lab, specific for life science, and Fieng Lab for uh, all kinds of uh, solutions. So, during the, the program, we could do some MVPs. We caught the signal using uh, uh, Arduino. We pivot the earphone for ring because of the technological difficulty to do the earphone uh, in, in, in uh, uh, we will need long time to do the earphone so we pivot with a product that you could uh, put uh, to marketing in short time so we uh, you use uh, this sensor we uh, printed two versions of the ring it's, n it's very important because the first version we tested with athletes and non-athletes and many feedbacks were, were important to understand that th this version is not good. So when you did the second version, they are accepted for the, the, the clients. It's very important during uh, your validation, your business model. And the, another MVP is the layout of the application. But it's my failure. Because the technical uh, uh, partners in this business uh, didn't want to continue with that. And we had difficult to miniaturize the components of the, the ring. So, what to do? The live has opportunities. So, my friend uh, near my laboratory 
had the isolated 14 probiotic strains. Potential probiotic strains is a good bacteria, is beneficial bacteria. From cheeses, uh, from Clarastra, it's a region in Minas Gerais, very important to produce uh, artisanal cheese. There are in Minas Gerais more than 2,400 producers. So we isolated it, and then we filled the patent using a cocoa-based beverage with the addition of probiotic. Why cocoa? Because my friend uh, was a professor in south of the Bahia. It's a, a region that, uh, with cult culture of uh, cocoa. Moreover, there are many papers uh, describing the importance of the use of probiotic as the nature. So we decided to put together our skills to participate in another accelerated program, the Innovativa Brasil. It's an online program. It's very easy because you don't need to, to travel to another city if you live in the interior of the, the United States. You are only the one uh, startup in the Midwest of the Minas Gerais accepts to this program. Uh, only 300. So we start to validation. Very important for the business model is validation. What you discover? When we uh, uh, were in contact with supermarkets, we asked, uh, is there a consumer of uh, cocoa beverage? No. Is there anybody here consume cocoa beverage? No. Incredible. Nobody's. So cocoa-based beverage could be a good product to, 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 to sell? No. So we pivoting. But another important happened. I, I had a lunch with a businessman that producing sent 100 tons of uh, Brazilian berries. Do you know Brazilian berries? Açaí? So we decided to pivot to add the probiotic in açaí. Who consumes açaí here? Oh, my clients. My clients. So we decided to pivot to add the probiotic in açaí, a superfruit with many important components for health. And then we participate in two boot camps in Belo Horizonte and Sao Paulo with mentory, group dynamics, contact with other entrepreneurships. And why? Uh, because we decide to change our product, we were chosen to participate in the final in Sao Paulo. Only 100 startups were chosen to participate in the final in Sao Paulo. So we come to Sao Paulo to participate uh, in the boot camp, in contact with another entrepreneurships. And then, during the demo day, they asked, you are crazy to ask for money, 7,000 uh, uh, reais for, uh, to open the company. Uh, you need to test your business. You need to rent a space to produce your probiotic. Uh, you need to read more books for us, professors. And blah, 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 blah. We were devastated. Oh my god, what's happening? Only us with idea, because 99% 9 of the startups were selling some, something. We are just idea. Innovative browser? OK, go home. In what direction to take? What can I do? I told to my, uh, to my colleague, let's participate in another accelerated program. Let's continue. So. We had another opportunity. For the first time in Brazil, uh, a FIENG uh, select projects in academy. Uh, 1,300 projects were submitted, were submitted, and 12 were chosen for a pitch day for the phase two. We are among them. 
And among 12, only four projects were selected to participate in accelerated program during six months. We were one of them. So this program changed our life because we had a specific accelerated agent. We uh, had meetings weekly. We had contact uh, with many entrepreneurships. And the first job that uh, we had to do is to validate the channels possible to add probiotics and the entry barriers to choose how can you put your product in short time to make money. So we discovered that we could put probiotics in many channels, in pharmacy, in artisanal beer, to produce ACD beer, not probiotic beer, but it's possible. But it's possible, the Chinese uh, did. In food, okay, we know about food, the acai here. In pharma, in cosmetic. Did you know about cosmetic using the probiotics? Yes, it's possible. And in animal. Animal, yes, because the next year uh, you cannot use the antibiotic for the, the, the animals. So it's a very nice market for us. But we have many channels. It's very difficult to decide how can we start our products. So the challenge is how long time is it necessary to enter? in each channels. So we in contact uh, we had contact with uh, Anvisa about uh, food, MAPA about beverage, and we discovered that we need one year, two years, three years. But for our surprise we discovered that in pharmacy you don't need uh, regular le regularization. So which of the channels the product enters the market faster and that has lower barriers? Pharmacy. So we decided to put probiotics in this channel because it's a local market. You, you don't need to have a registration in, uh, uh, as a visa. It's a national registration. But if you put in, in industry, you need a uh, visa. So it's very nice for us. And we decide to initial the contact to understand this market, because it's a surprise for us. So we uh, interviews more than 100 pharmacies from all the regions of the Brazil, by phone in the presence. And we discovered three pains. And all the probiotics in pharmacy are important. Oh, there are a problem with costs. And only for oral use. So we need to, to, to do a strategy to develop a low cost production to compete with Chinese and Indian producers. We discovered the price that the, the companies in Brazil pay for the gram of the uh, for the gram of the probiotic, and then my doctor degree student uh, used a very nice methodology to produce a very low cost uh, probiotic. For example, in the initial, uh, we need. The Five, uh, 50 reais, reais per gram to produce, uh, per liter, to produce a probiotic. Now we can do for 10 cents. It's a very, very nice methodology. And we discovered another application for that. But we continue to do validation and connections. We connect with the L'Oreal that there that demonstrate interest to contact with us to, to co-develop a production. And we uh, 
would like to understand the distribution of the probiotic in Brazil. And to our surprise, when we went to Chemunio, a Brazilian uh, company, uh, I thought they are only distributor of probiotic. To our surprise, they produce assets for more, uh, for 60 uh, um, countries in the world, more than 60 countries with Brazilian assets. And they demonstrated very interest, interest to produce our probiotics. So after that, we deposit, uh, we fill uh, a patent with the preparation, probiotic, with acai, and the process for the production because it's very important, this process, to protect uh, the IP. So, what can we do? Open the company or transfer the technology? We are only two professors. We cannot be the CEO of the company. So, we decide to transfer the technology to have more, uh, to understand more how can you use a company how can you uh, how can you operate a company because it, it's not my it's not easy for me i'm a professional i'm a researcher but to open a company it's not so easy decision so our decision of our strategy is to transfer the technology to chem union and then in five years maybe 10 years open our company but we were in a accelerated program we completed all the cycles of the, the accelerated programs. Define strategic planning, financial planning, survey of regulatory barriers, needs for production capacity, project and team management. We had four letters of intent of our product for different companies. We shared with 10 investors, very nice experience. Very knows, very knows. Everybody knows, know, really. 30 business approach, more than 30 connections, and we uh, figured out that we need uh, 1.6 million reels to open the company to attend the pharmacy only, not other channels and lifting more than 100 leads. Because that, we uh, achieved 100% of the goals of the accelerated program. It's, it's possible to see here, when we arrived in blue, it's a, our position, the rocket position, and to the, the, the expected uh, that the uh, startups achieve the red, uh, sorry, in green, growth. So it's possible after six months to, to see that uh, our development of the company. We uh, solve many problems uh, to understand our, our business model. This part of the development is about sales. We didn't sell. So it, it, it's a, a very nice development because that we won awards in this program. And it's important to understand that the accelerated program can help you to diagnose your business, develop your business. You have contact with your advisory, mentor, co work and network to prepare a very nice pitch and contact with investors. It's a very important to participate because of that. that uh, and now I'm I participate in many programs about entrepreneurship in university. UFSJ, with another 14 universities, participate in Empreendação. It's a, uh, it's a state program uh, uh, where we create, in our disciplines, teams with the students to think about business models. In my discipline, uh, a SOB, it's a, a, a kind of uh, ice cream, but without milk and without sugar, with probiotics, 
they took a second place in the stage. I participate in the Startup Universitario program. In December, we will do a biomaker battle in Givinopolis. I invite you to participate there. Uh, in this week, we are organizing with the State University in Minas Gerais a uh, entrepreneurship uh, fair uh, uh, in technology. Next year, we will participate in the international fair, the largest event in Latin America, in Belo Horizonte. We are a group of professors that want to make a difference in our university, the uh, innovation group of professors. We created this group five years ago. We had 12 lectures about innovation, five international webinars, one connection with another university, more than startups created in our campus, with seven hours in acceleration programs, teachers in eight startup acceleration programs, one startup day, one demo day, more than 30 patents. Uh, we are five professors. More than four registered software and the honorable Monson received it from the municipality of Divinopolis. We created a demo day. Two startups that I'm involved in won the first place. Sobe in undergraduate course and Connect Post for uh, upper graduate course. We are leading the connection, the different actors in our city to create an uh, entrepreneurship uh, ecosystem. This is my team. Visit us. Minas Gerais has historical cities, uh, landscape, comida mineira, and the most famous, pão de queijo. This is my contact. Thank you very much. Nossa, falei. Questions? Yeah. Hi, Paulo. Hi. Hi, Paul. I uh, was just wondering about your very low cost process. I was curious about the the key point uh, about this, about the production of prior, uh, pro probiotics. And so could you uh, talk more about which nature is your substrate? What kind of substrate are you using for the process? For the optimization of the process? For the very low cost process, yes. Yeah, because when you need to uh, cultivate the strands, you need many components. You use uh, a factorial, uh, uh, factorial fractionado, fraction factorial, and the uh, uh, mathematical skills to understand how the consecration, how the consecration, consecration is necessary to produce the the cells. So we found that we need only three components in low concentrations. And we found 10, 12, 10 a 12, 1 trillion, 1 trillion uh, cells. So we have a high concentrated cells in low components to, 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 to produce the cells. So we use the mathematical, we use the uh, uh, factorial fractionado to understand how it's possible to, to produce in low cost. This kind of science, uh, China, uh, United States, and India use to produce probiotic because the companies in Brazil pay only one real per gram. If you produce 
uh, and the company need to produce in 10 cents, because if it's more, uh, it's, it's higher than 10 cents, they don't want to produce. Uh, because the company needs to uh, 10 more, 10 more, that is my, uh, that is this, no, the company needs 10 vezes mais o valor, 10 times plus, to, 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 to produce. Be, be, when they ask me for the first time, uh, we found 50%. So we continue to study to have 10 cents. It's a challenge, but it's possible. We are specialized in this, in this one. One more question, please. Yeah. Paulo, during your speech, you mentioned that uh, entrepreneur companies are being successful in Minas Gerais uh, due to the environment that has been created for them. How long it has uh, taken to create that environment? Five years, <laughs> maybe five years, because uh, it's not easy to find the people with this spirit. So we need to talk with many people, and uh, uh, it, it, and it's necessary many uh, talks, and it's necessary to do something to people see and oh, I'd like to I'd like to be with uh, like a, uh, that guy. For example, uh, I have a contact with a Pharmax, a industry in, in, in Divin Divinopolis that produces cosmetics. Seven years in contact with them, and now we have a connection to co-develop a product. Seven years. Uh, uh, now I'm a friend of the, the son of the owner, because it's not easy to, 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 to have a contact with the, the industry sector. So uh, it's, uh, you need time. Welcome. First of all, uh, I would like to congratulate because your presentation was very funny, very nice to, to hear to Thank your you. history. And it's inspiring all the people here. I work with patents, and I was wondering about your 30 patents, who won? It's who uh, raised the costs. Of, uh, could you tell us uh, your history? Is it yours? Uh, titularidade is yours. You are the, the owner or the university? How, how do you work with this? Who pays the costs for the patents? For what? For, for the patents. Ah, OK. N uh, no, because the patents belong to the university. Oh. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm only the inventor. Yeah, uh, uh, at university, yeah, at university, uh, I can invent it, but I don't need to pay for the for the fuel. The un because the patent belongs to the university. 100%. No, uh, two thirds, two thirds, two part of three. Because because um, if you transfer the technology, you can uh, talk about the royalties, okay? In Brazil, the royalties depends the technology from 1 to 10 percent. 10 pesos is about uh, softwares, for example. By technology is around 3.5 and 5. Okay? For example, I will transfer for Camunio, 5 percent. We discussed about that and we decide 5 percent. 5 percent is dividing three parts. One part for the uh, uh, office, the, tr the transfer of technology of the office, that, that university. Another part is for department. And only one part of three is for the investors. It's not possible to be rich at university. You, may, you, you need to make many, many, you, you need to make many, many patents to be a rich with that. The, 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 better e, uh, the better way is open the company. But you are contributing to the universe, be rich, which is very important. Also. Yeah. Uh, a last question, please, because uh, you are in a time uh, with problem with time. No? So uh, I would like to thank you very much, Paulo. 
he will be with us a little bit more and who has a more doubt can talk with her with him because I, I uh, sure he has a lot of experience uh, has a, a nice history to tell you uh, he has a nickname his nickname is Pew Pew <laughs> <laughs> I, I met him in, in, in his graduation we have made graduation it was a chemistry graduation and he made in pharmacy, pharmacy graduation at the same time and that time uh, Paul was the kind of guy who arrived later in the class, the, t the, the kind of guy who uh, everyone said ah, it will not succeed in the future. <laughs> now he's, he's here with a brilliant future. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And I'm very grateful for this school. You ch I told you, you changed my life because, because that. Yes, it's possible. And now I invite uh, Luciane. Luciane to talk a, a little bit about her experience uh, in the nutrition sector. Thank you very much, Lucian. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure to me to present to you a startup clinical nutrition science. I'm in chemistry. I'm PG in food science and technology. But I decided to open a company. And uh, I don't work in academic uh, university. Now I'm, I work at a startup. So. Uh, it's a focus to research and development for new products and process for nutritional, uh, new nutritional products. Innovation in supplement for nutrition and formulation for um, um, nutrition companies. Intelligent nutrition and personal diet or clinical um, nutrition because uh, we develop um, a new technology uh, to introduce in supplement nutritionals. We have um, the composition of all the nutrients, protein, carbohydrates, lipids, minerals, and vitamins, and uh, the the increment. It's a better uh, action when you ingest these products. So when you have um, better be availability of, nutrien of nutrients, when you ingest this uh, formulation, you have a modulation of nutrients in your body. So it's possible to uh, increment for all uh, the the all the life stages because you you need uh, the the movement you kept the movement of nutrients in the body after absorption so you increment this formulation about the on one the, uh, functional or one action so it's possible to do in the clinical uh, activity when you have some conditions to offer the better conditions of the, of nutritional conditions to a, a patient or people. Uh, the work is started to ha to in the concept of the harder hunger, and the, after that you can develop this uh, technology. It's used uh, it it in mathematical models, in vitro models, and the clinical uh, try, associate, integrate, to benefit all um, better conditions uh, for the availability of nutrients, because uh, you know 
uh, the technology possibility, you know, the interaction of nutrients. And uh, when you know the interaction, you can introduce you know, one aspect, a uh, different aspect for beneficial um, increment. So, prevent and clinical trial and clinical nutrition. We have a partnership with PID and technology and uh, our industries for inactive because the we have two uh, possibilities to do business with the, in the company or technology transfers or partnership for industri industri industrialization of the products. Um, transfer technology is not interesting for, uh, for us at the moment because uh, Paulo said uh, very well, uh, you can um, offer another company or another uh, people your technology. So I, uh, we st we study the, the business model, but uh, it's, it's interesting to us industrial or part partnership for industrial the products. Uh, another point, it's a uh, offer consulting program, data analysis, because we have a mod mathematical models, or support technology for another campus uh, to do the same um, technology or the same methodology for develop another compo uh, components or another products. Uh, another point of um, um, it's very important is to think internalization of your uh, technology. It's very important to when you have a um, uh, company with a technology base to think in another markets, another uh, possibilities for a query, another technology or another process or model to do business or try it. So, the market is very interesting because it's a um, uh, Nutri uh, supplement nutrition is a very consumer in all the parts of the world. You, it's it's a cro a cro uh, market. Oh. In Brazil too, you have a very participation of the population, the people to consume uh, this product. The technology uh, is uh, uh, together to some parts too. Uh, we have uh, four uh, patents in deposited in, in the INPE. We must to be regulation and visa and MAPA. It's very important for, uh, for this work. It's the comparative of your uh, products when you have yet in the market similar products, and you can see the difference uh, uh, focus in your approval uh, when you have a digestion, the absorption, the action is very different about uh, this technology. And um, another uh, process, another coming, okay, another way is uh, animal health and nutrition uh, in uh, action in the agribusiness. So, uh, developer technology is construed and uh, now uh, transfer about animals 
nutrition. So, we have a new product, a nutritional supplement, and uh, to, to offer to com milk for uh, products, uh, a new uh, a new milk obtained of the pro products, natural nature products. So, it's a balance of nutrients, antioxidants and peroxidants. Uh, you can uh, there in the uh, you care for the animals for obtaining a beautiful milk and think to uh, to those to two points animal health and human nutrition. So you can see, uh, especially iron is very low in milk and uh, the focus is the better conditions of iron in milk. The process is, oh, sorry, in vitro, similarly, the tartigastestinal humano, when you can to do uh, the estudio of bioaccessible and digestible uh, in the compartment of the iron in the milk. Uh, we think about the children. Are deficiency in children develop is a, a very important uh, program because it's um, deficiency in, in the world of yarn, special in children. So, thank you. <laughs> Sober my English. Thank you, Lu. And now questions. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about big data analysis, and I didn't understand about if you are concerned about the methods to produce your products, or are you concerned about the profile of your possible clients? So. For what do you use big data analysis? Because I, uh, I do this, the association with in vitro and in vivo. I did clinical trials for it, for do it. Okay, thank you. Questions? How is the support the universe give, it, give you at the beginning? Uh, now, I, I, I talk with uh, another university for to, uh, to do the sequence of this study. Okay. Eu quase não andei no metrô hoje. Hi, Luciana. I was wondering if you could say more about your company, how old the company is, if you have employees. Two years ago, I, I work at the academic, but I did, I did stay in the academy. I wanted to be a university professional <laughs> teacher, but uh, it's, uh, it's not f possible. So I, uh, I went to uh, to founder clinical nutrition science. I have the space to do uh, in science, um, to do, um, no, uh, I, I have doctoral master to postdoctor in the area and uh, a very big experience. Uh, so I apply I applicate now at a uh, startup. Uh, the student starts with the, if, um, enteral feeding, but it's very difficult 
to work with inter uh, internal feeding because uh, Paul said the regulator regulation uh, the cost is very high so uh, I we can think about the supplement nutrition it's um, easy more easy to to put in market and uh, uh, in the market it's it's, uh, it's yet because the the people know this product the consumer this product is more easy to talk it and, and to show the people uh, this product Maybe you can do a joint venture with Paulo. Uh, <laughs> good idea. A uh, good idea. To have two uh, specialized uh, areas in the nutrition and also yes, probiotics. Yes. Applicate uh, why the not? probiotics. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, when questions? Nope. I'd like to thank you again very much. Ah, thank okay, you very thank much. Thank you. I uh, do not know if we stop now, Richard and uh, Surya, and come back later. What do you think about it? Yeah? Okay. So let's talk. I will just talk a little bit of my experience uh, before being in the university and uh, the things I have done yet and what I have to do to the next steps I'm looking for. But I, I would s I'd like to start telling some words to you. Um, it's very important, two things I, I believe. Believe yourself, first of all, and also design your ideas. That's my suggestion to all of you. Wherever you have an idea, try to design that. I mean, if you are not a designer, if you are not a cartoon guy, pay for someone to make a cartoon or a design or a 3D printer example of your idea. That's very important if you have it designed. And I will show you why. Uh, also, it's important you to, to take risks. Sometimes you have to shift. It's not so easy to take out of your uh, comfortable zone. Sometimes you have to take risk. If you have, a, if you have, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to take risk. Uh, my formation, my graduation was in chemistry, and I do my uh, undergraduate student, master, and PhD student in a subject where I was not so happy. I was working with uh, magnet resistance materials to be applied in sensors for magnetic field and, and things that. It's not from the uh, local industry. I was working with things that, of course, it was very nice for my knowledge. I, 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 heard, I learned a lot of things very important. But I was not happy in what uh, I was doing because I, was, I did not have uh, found where I can apply that. And so I uh, take a decision. Since I was working with magnetic material, I started my postdoctor and so on using this magnetic material for other applications. So I started using magnetic material for drug delivery, and so on, tissue regeneration. I changed my area of research, my subject area, to a health area, and so it's changed my life. I can, I can tell you, if i still doing this kind of research, maybe I not reach uh, my, re my personal realization. Uh, so when I, I, I finish my PhD, uh, I do not make my CV, my short CV, because I'm not af I'm afraid to find a job. You know what I mean? I was looking for academic position. So I did not make my CV because I was not looking for a job in that moment. 
And a friend of mine who we work in a lab in Rio Preto invited me to be there. And he said, okay, we'll be there. We'll be a lot of entrepreneurs. I will put money in our ideas. Let's go there. You help me in my lab. I give you a, a small salary and you, you can grow together. I went there and I lived one year in Rio Preto in his company. The salary was not enough. It was not good time in my profession because I was coordinating a lab and lots of problems, a quality lab. But that moment, uh, this guy come me and, and pay for me a course of uh, analytical uh, quality control. And so from this course, a uh, course to, to use uh, ISO norms, that's that norms you, you, you know in labs. From that part, I know a guy. He said to me, I'm needing someone to know how to coordinate a lab in quality control. And we create cri criteria, biomaterials in São Carlos, uh, I was such crazy in that moment. My wife was almost to quiet me off because I have a scholarship doing my PhD at FAPESP at that time, 2004, 2005. And then uh, uh, we, we find another three or four crazy guys with us and we buy a house and we start making role in that house because we are looking for to prepare that house for being a company of health materials. So we have to have the pass-throughs, uh, different places where there is no need for windows. I mean, this house is not a house anymore. And my wife said, why you are paying <laughs> for that? So uh, since we have no money, we need to use our creativity. It was our uh, kind of but system to, m to make uh, a life fertilizer. Uh, it's a homemade life fertilizer using a freezer. We have a system where we use vacuum here and also a resistance here when we can use our hot or a cold. It is not yet patented, so please do not copy that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this is also the, the, the kind of thing we make in that time, that lab, to start our products. Uh, so we come out of criteria, we sell our part from the other guys. Criteria is actually a big company in Brazil market for bone graft materials. They are in the odontology mar market, maybe the first place in bone graft materials. So I'm very happy to participate in the creation of this, uh, this company. And why we come out of uh, Criteria? Uh, when I was in Criteria, I worked with bone from uh, cow. We use cow bone to extract collagen matrix and also hydroxapatite to doing bone grafts biomaterials. And we used to enter in a, a butcher to buy our bone. And once, uh, one day we met a guy over there and we was looking for buy a, a saw to cut bone in small piece. And this butcher looked at us, oh, but you are looking for a, a saw. And I yesterday I received here a guy that was looking for someone who has the, the bone and then so we be in contact with this guy. This guy uh, come from a company in São Carlos named DMC. It's a big company in biomaterials and also in odonto materials market. And we, we try find him to say, okay, we have to buy your saw to cut bone. And he asks us, why you have to cut bone? And we tell tell them all our ideas, our products, and he was very interested and make a day to present us for their boss. And that day we bring together us, it's why I told you at the beginning the importance of a uh, designer idea. We bring with us a small piece of the block, bone graft block we are doing at that time. And we present everything to the guy, we discuss, we all, uh, he was interested. But at the corner was a old guy, that guy that used the, the clock machine in the, the pocket, you know, the white hair. And so he was looking for us, and when we come out, he just come in the, in the corner with us and give us a, a card, a personal card, and said, call me when you come out. Call me when you come out. And like that. <laughs> it was a, a fun situation. Okay, we call them. And the ha then he un introduced us to another guy, who's an uh, uh, investor in the market of bone graft material, what was looking for that kind of product. This guy has already went in a lot of uh, university looking for who can do that material, uh, that biomaterial for them, for him, and he doesn't find anyone or find someone with uh, academic perfumes, academic behaviors. 
And so uh, that was a, a fun situation. Maybe in that next talk I will tell you something about how to, to behave in front of an investor. At that, that moment I have no idea what to do. In a time, in the middle of the talk, he asked us, OK, your idea is very great, but where is your business plan? When they ask it for us, we stop. I look to Alexandre, my other partners, and then we look to do the, the investor said, oh, you need it now? It's not here. It's in my computer, in my hand. <laughs> I bluff. And then he said, oh, it's good. Send me tomorrow. <laughs> We come back home <laughs> and Google, what is a plan, a business plan? Google, please help us. <laughs> and so we find some models, we find uh, the, the matrix of uh, SWOT, SWOT matrix, lots of things that we have never have been before, seen before. And we make our, our plan, a business plans and send to this guy. It was a crazy business plan and we promised a lot of things and maybe he, he, he laughed uh, us when he read this. <laughs> But we, okay, we convinced him, and we created in 2007 the Procell. Procell is in São Carlos. It's based in this uh, this building. It's a clean home. Have a lot of this is a road. The pictures have a lot of uh, lab, new labs inside. Here is the Procell at the beginning. It was empty. Now you cannot uh, walk here so easily. What we have done uh, since we are chemistry, in that moment, this guy asked for us if you are able to make some graft bonds to substitute the animal one, the, the, the graft bond from animal source. Uh, so we synthesized this is beta TCP with uh, calcium phosphate. It's not so easy to synthesi synthesize that in the lab. Always, you know, when you try to do this synthesis, you find a phase mixture, and we found a way to obtain a single phase, and we start this beta TCP uh, bone graft with different microstructure. We also have uh, bone graft blocks for osteotomy and another application also for odontology. Here is an example of this application odontology. You see a kind of roll here. The guy used only the, the graft without using blood or other fluid in the beginning and after 10 months. If you look at, at, the, at the screen of the computer, this is better, but you have a new bone here. You can see it near the channel. Uh, I would ask you to, sorry about the images I will show later. Maybe that is the best one. Sorry if you have uh, some, uh, you are afraid to look. This is the block uh, graft you, the, the dentist use commonly. When you have a bone in this region to put some implant, he needs before make it bone to grow there. So they put this block and they close it with your gingive and after six or 10 months, uh, they came with the implant and put in that place, waiting that you have a red grow bone in this situation. That is the common, uh, but what we have created was this prototype bone, uh, block bone. You see that to, to right to the left and to the right. We receive a tomograph, a computerized tomograph of this uh, pa patient. And we also make rolls where he will fix that with the screws. The head of these screws is in the same level of the graft. That, is, that was an innovation we create. We have also this now, you see that we are using the same product. We just develop devices to apply this same product. We have also this initial bone kit. Uh, the initial bone kit, you can put your bone graft here, and you can use the, 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 the blood or PIP or other liquid you want to use to get your bone graft. You just uh, inject your blood here in this other part. So it's, it's like a plug of your bone graft with your blood uh, ready to be applied. This year, we are uh, launching this beta project. This is a cement. Uh, we have this uh, applicator. This applicator, it, it moves here to three or four position. And then, so you have your powder cement and your liquid with mixture with this powder to make your cement. So how it works, you turn it to transfer. You pass the liquid to this side. You close, and then you start uh, mixturing the powder with the liquid by using this uh, strip here, which can has a, a kind of a hélice, and you can move and mixture it. 
After that, you take this, uh, this part here and plug together this one, as you can see here. And so it's red to be applied. Like here now you have your cement. After three minutes, it can be applied directly in neurosurgeries or vertebral colon surgeries. I have also the 3D, 3D bond. 3D bond, we use a 3D printer. Receive a tomography from the patient. Generally, has big rolls in his head. We receive this image. And what we prototype, what we print, is in fact a negative part of this piece. So we make this negative part of the piece. And then it went to the surgical room, where the doctor made their uh, acrylate cement, cement and put inside this this form, and after he takes it out, just give a little bit of uh, finishing its border, and so it's good red to put in uh, the patient. He is a, a woman who has suffered a, a big accident. Then it was in the surgery, uh, we, we sent the form, the negative part, this base with a guide for the doctor. So before open open the the, the, the the heads of the patient, doctor prepare all stuff in this guide. He make also these rolls where he will fix this prosthesis. And so when the, he open the, the, the patient uh, head, it's a red head to, to, be, to be implanted. That's another clue I give to you. you. You have to know how your product will be applied. We are a scientist. And we are in a lab developing drug delivery system, new drugs, uh, biomaterials. But we have, uh, we have to talk with doctors. We have to talk with dentists. How it works, how it has to be. It's a, a, it's a powder soft or not so soft. How is the site where I will put that? Or how is the apl applicability of this product? So talk to, to the who will use your product. Your in this case, my customer is not the guy I have to talk. My customer is the patient, but who apply my products is the doctor. So we have to know how to use it. It's Alexander, my partner. We start to follow in surgery, to learn about how to use this product. Here is a surgery where this woman has a cancer, and we was there following this surgery. It was a nice and successful surgery. They put it, and here is closing his, her heads. Another product is the PIP Pro Cell. PIP is the platelet-rich plasma, which are very used in the orthopedic sports. It's a concentrate of plasma, which has a lot of growth factor used in bone regeneration, in tissue regeneration in general. It's in our blood. The problem is it's all dispersed in blood. So you have to take your blood, put an anticoagulant in your blood, centrifugate that, and so it will separate in two phase. One of them is this platelet-rich plasma, which is concentrating growth factors. And so it's important to apply in some kind of reeling process in tissue regeneration. So the idea, the, the initial prototype was design your ideas, remember? Here I pay 200 for a guy who has uh, skills in computer to draw this for us. I take it for my pocket because I believe in that product. We make it. And okay, let's make the design. And he make for us the design. It was supposed to have a flutter. At the end of centrifuge centrifugation, it will uh, divide in your these three phases. And by this syringe, you can separate and take this. What I was looking for. Last year, we launched this product, the PIP Pro Cell. It was a kind of, uh, a little bit different from the one that was the product we are now in the market. Very different from the the, the first one. This is part here is a, a, like a screw. So how it works, you put the blood inside it, you take the blood, put the blood inside it, the blood pass this middle, you centrifuge that, and then you got something like that. But since this part, this, this bottom part is move, is move, is move you can uh, uh, move it and make this, this liquid. So and make this liquid goes up just into the moment to this this white part is where we are interested which is the rich plasma is he is here and now he is here inside this small part and now i can collect it uh, by the by this part here with with a, a, sing, uh, a syringe uh, so uh, we start 
it was a project with a lot of high that program from CNPq which is a program that by uh, that pay scholarship for for uh, research has been in the in the company we make a seven years project to develop these biocellulose membranes which are scaffolds for tissue regeneration for ulcers or for burning uh, we have in a patent for um, put a nano my uh, silver nanoparticle in these membranes and we, when we make it it has a color very very black which are not so in nice to uh, to the patient so we have developed a uh, product with a color more like the skin color with the same silver nanoparticle behavior what we are looking for so now we have a product let's make let's design our idea Again, we pay for a guy to try to make a logo, and then he's, uh, he said us this. He sent us this for a model logo. Who would like the one, please? Keep your mind, your hands. Okay. Who likes two? Okay. Who likes three? Okay. Who likes four? So yeah, we we were we were between these two, and we choose this one, skin cell. And so, uh, Leticia, we go to the Google to search this mark. But before we pay the guy for to do this design for us, and go to the Google, Google, there are, has a product like this skin cell name. No, there wasn't. And so it goes to the imp to register the trademark. And for our surprise, there are a guy who is making some mask for health build with the same name and he said for us no this product you cannot name like that and so we give another name <laughs> well, what what i think was a surprisingly good choice luckily because i prefer this name derm code we you use the select logo with the, this other name we start producing that but this is a mark we are not Familiar. Our market is orthopedic market. We has all had already a distributor our, the, around the Brazil. Have 16, 60 percent of this bone graft mature in Brazil, but we have never ever sold something like that because it's another kind of doctor. It's another kind of strategy to to tell to sell. So we find a guy who has a big company in Brazil uh, with a lot of distributor around, around Brazil in the is ulcers and burning skin so it was perfect that he was looking for that product and we start doing this product to him to Dean to to this company we make a lot of investment in marketing everything we start going in in, in Congress and meeting and I think three or four months after we start someone sent to this uh, company a letter saying okay you are using my patent <laughs> And this guy comes, okay, you, you give me a product that has a patent involved. And he said, send me the, the, the letter. And we check the patent. This guy was telling us, he's another company who is our competitor. And the patent has nothing with this kind of product. In fact, it has. The patent was about how to make rolls in these scaffolds. And then we showed them that we have used the technology completely different, make holy by using a punson. A punção, they don't know the name in Portuguese, in English. Okay, this guy was okay. He said, perfect. But the distributor, the big company, we have made a NDA for this uh, sale process, said, okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. So we lost, we lost a client, an important client, because of uh, a competitor that used a patent to uh, intimidate. intimidate intimidate the other has a lot of products in collagen pro, uh, for different applications and also uh, we work but we also have to survive my partner me and I at the beginning of all this process we uh, we are chemists we said okay let's try be doing beer and uh, we make some beers and gourmet beer and we invite some friends to, to a barbecue where we, we, we bring a lot of beers, in, uh, national and uh, others beers, to this barbecue. And we put these different beers there without the, the name of the beers. And all of them, or the major part of them, said, oh, this is a very nice beer. And that was a ni no, our beer. So I said to Alexandre, Alexandre, I think we are in the correct way. <laughs> we know how to prepare beers. And so we started uh, uh, seven years or eight years. 
by building a, a small house to create our beer producer. And so we have the kefir, who was creating some cars at that time. It was it, it is why he, he, he has kefir name. Kefir is in German is this kind of araucaria. Uh, but at the middle of the process, we have some problems because that area was not a good area to 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 to, to take mapa in order to can be able to sell this beer. We have to move. Have design again. It, it, I have I have the beer in that moment. No. Not yet in that large scale, but I pay for a guy to make for us. We just give to them the idea, the name, some colors, and then uh, we pay 300 reais, something like that, and he make this nicely uh, hot uh, mark of beer. We also have the Perva. Uh, Perva was to compare to these other beers, like uh, Devasta, uh, Perigosa, a outra. E a gente achou, uh, we think that in that market has space for the perva. We make perva, we put perva in the in INPI, but we have to pay to renew this contract uh, at two years, I don't remember. And we said, okay, that's that perva, and we pay after. This year we come to check and someone take perva. You would know we don't have perva, perva anymore. So now the beer is in Ribeirão Preto. This is a Vicente, our beer make. Uh, we are to, to launch there Albertina. Oh, it means Albertina because uh, Carrefour, the big mark Carrefour, they has uh, the name Albertina and so we were forbidden to use this name and it is why you put a second E here and now you have Albertina. Good? And so coming soon, <laughs> I present it two years ago <laughs> and it's still coming soon. Uh, it's a uh, bar barbecue maker to picanha. You know that uh, uh, to, to Arabi, I, I said the name yesterday here. Churrasco grego. You, you know you you to to fatiate that. And the idea is to take picanha. You, you could use it on on a table. Uh, has a filter here to the smoke to do not go out and to, to not to smell. And it's moving around this resistance here. And you just go open the door and take your slice of picanha nicely. And you also you can choose our beer if you want. <laughs> so just to finish my talk, I, I used to show this uh, uh, forecast, the uh, weather forecast stone. We show and resume the, the creativity I, I, I asked you at the beginning. You look at the stone, the stone is here. If the stone is wet, it means that rain. If the stone is dry, it's not raining. If there, a, there is a shadow on ground, it means that's a sunny day. If they, they, they are white on top, it's snowing. If you cannot see the stone, it's a fog. If it, this stone is swimming, okay, take care, it's wind. If the stone is jumping up and down, it's an earthquake. If the stone is gone, it's a tornado, go out because it's not good, stay there. Thank you very much. I like this for quest, uh, Portuguese uh, way. I have been working with biomaterials and hydroxapatite, titanium dioxide. So you show your products. And when I do the same material on the lab, I make XPS and seen. So how do you control the porosity and the homogeneity of your material? So uh, when you come from the lab to a uh, uh, process scale up, for the agents, uh, health, uh, health agents, for Anvisa, for example, we have to show them where is the point in the production. You stop the production, take your process materials, make some characterizations to say, okay, it can go in the process, otherwise it can be uh, the, uh, uh, not more used. So we have a lot a lot of tests we make once to register the product and send the, the report to, to Anvisa. And after that, you have some points of control you have to do in every lot of product, or in every battle of production. But uh, after you make a powder in a chemist route, as you know, the more difficult is not the powder, 
is how to give this powder its application. I mean, the grain size, the porosity of grain size, which is very important for the bone grow process. When you make blocks like that, I have moves here. If I put this block in a, in a blood, it starts to sh uh, uh, injecting this blood inside them. OK? We, we, we doesn't have patents. That, that's a question. What we found was very easy, was just some parameters in synthesis. So if I make a patent of this, everybody, every competitor can use our idea, just change a little bit and make our product. So we have an uh, industry secret. I and my partner are who has the, the way to obtain that. Uh, my my curiosity is uh, even with you or other professors that have their own entrepreneurship. How is the time management? Because it's like so much things I can imagine that it's like a huge fight just to 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 keep your business going on that's that's we, like how do you survive if you find <laughs> this answer please give us <laughs> well uh, i have two sons this is staffs 10 students five phd and five master uh coordinate the theater group yeah. you know coordinate impact you have to get involved with person competent you cannot do that alone you always have to have a good equip you always have to know how to divide with them the responsibility. That's the way I, I follow. Of course, th th there, there are some situations where everything is to be done in that moment. I have to choose the water, or I have to choose the more important. It will depend. There are situations that I said, OK, now I have to do that. The others I will do tomorrow. That's the way. But the, my suggestion is, you cannot do everything by yourself. You have to have a, 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 a team. It's my opinion. Let's see Paulo and uh, Lucien. It's very difficult. <laughs> All the time, you can see. Uh, it's not easy to to talk uh, or divide your time, but uh, you have to work uh, a lot. Uh, weekdays, uh, weekends, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because you have a, a proposal, how do you say? Uh, a we have a target, we, ha we have to do a proposal. So uh, uh, there, uh, you need a lot of time, it's not easy. And but you need focus and the timing. I, I can see also that you have a very strong will because it's, I mean, you already have your, your job, uh, a good job, but you are uh, ambitious enough to, to search for something that is very difficult also, right? And I, I think we really need people like that, that's I, admiration. <laughs> uh, uh, and you, you it's important to have a, um, a, a team. Yeah, it's important. It's not. Uh, uh, I didn't do alone. Yeah. Uh, you need a team. You need another person. You need to to divide the time, and it, it's important to uh, optimizing your time. Optimize. Uh, for example, uh, I need to travel to Belo Horizonte. Sometimes uh, I was hearing videos about entrepreneurship, for example. Uh, when, uh, uh, before you sleep, you can read more. Uh, you can optimize your, your time, but it's not easy. You need to, it, 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 you, know, you need to work a lot. You, you need to work hard also. When uh, we make a business uh, meeting with this investor or guys who has millions of dollars, they doesn't stop for it. It's something amazing. The meeting starts at 8 and it finishes at 7 o'clock. 
just eating some small thing. They work hard. But um, um, I suggest to read the, uh, um, the Harvard, um, o, jeito, o Jeito Harvard Ser Feliz. Uh, it's very nice because, the, okay, you have to work a lot, but you need your social uh, connections. Yeah, okay, it's, it's not only to work, only to work, but you have to optimize it with and other things because you need to be happy. You need to be happy. That's very important. If you are doing not happily, don't do that, please. Money is nothing without happiness. Happy food. Yeah. Rodrigo. Yes. Uh, uh, that there is m just more one or two, and you can talk later. I have a question. It's please. about team formation. What, what can you tell us about your team, the process of team formation, and the component of leadership in your business? Well, it's a very good question. So, uh, e let, let, remember, I told you at the beginning, you have to believe yourself. That's the most important. And talk uh, sincerely all the time to people. Look in his eyes, uh, learn to hear, we have to hear. When you talk to the investor, for example, they like to talk, tell history a lot of time. You have to learn, and you have to listen. Uh, take decision at the correct time. Do not be afraid to say no. That's a problem. When you are in a company and it's, there are 10 persons that behave different from you or believe in different things than you. Uh, but sometimes you have to, to, to stock your, your food and say, no, that's not good in that time. Uh, it depends on how many information you get to take this decision. Do not take that, that decision by emotion. You have to be sure in, with basic in information. Network is the best I can suggest to you. It, this is a very important thing. Try to network all time. If you, you see Paulo presentation, how many places, how many uh, meetings this guy have participate? Of course, he will succeed because he is all time in the place where the networking he is needing he needs is there. Sometimes he will find a guy like I found with money to said, okay, I put money and you build your company, because there are persons needing our ideas, and we are needing their money. But the problem is who is in the middle to connect that. There are also guys doing that. We have to find this person in networking and be all time sincerely with you and with others. Okay? Last question. And because uh, we have it to be back at two. So, uh, congratulations to you and to other professors that. Uh, it's uh, impressive, the stamina and uh, the way that you make things happen, right? But my question uh, for that is, myself as a federal professor as, as well, uh, what's the way uh, to do this uh, private uh, business in a legal way? Legal way, right. good question. Everyone says, ah, but we have colleagues in the universe that don't like when they find or found a professor who has also a private company. It's kind of a scene, uh, right? Yeah, I have a lot in my, in my universe. We know here today, he showed us an example of MIT. USCA, they know how to, to deal with this, and our regulation allow that. Uh, you have to make a contract. In that contract, you, you have not position in the company. You are just a uh, cotist, as you have uh, a sons in a bolsa. Okay, you have your part there. You can, it's, it's in a uh, legal way, and, and I put it in my post hand, and it's ever, everything is there. How again, in the in the participation de lucros. At the end of the year, we divide, uh, and so it is yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, and go ahead. It's legal, <laughs> do not be afraid about that. Go ahead if you have your idea, put it in a contract, make it legally. We have some friends do doing that, not legally. It's not good. Uh, always when I use universe for do some measurements or something for my company, I pay for that. I do it very clearly, very clear to, to the others to do not say, okay, you are doing not good thing, no. That's not correct way. Do it correctly. You have legally way to do that, and that is very important for our society. Because universe is a source of knowledge, a source of innovation, and you have to do that. Thank you, congratulations again. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Come back at two.
please, uh, sorry the delay and try to be back at two because this afternoon uh, is very important for this group's works.